certainly that was a big win for us just to get back in the race. And uh, our team is, is starting to kind of figure out some different things that we can do to win. Uh, I thought the, the energy of the, the building really helped us, but the kids, when they needed stops and needed to make some good plays, really stepped up in a big way. Uh, we want to build off the last game. We know we've got to go on the road. The road wins are not easy. Uh, Seton Hall is, is a team that really can shoot the three. And uh, that makes you very dangerous when you can make a lot of three-point shots. So we have to defend that. Uh, one thing I liked about our team in our last game, we were creating a little bit more offense from our defense. We turned, ball, we turned Georgetown over a little bit. We want to continue to try to manufacture some points through our defense. Uh, so we want to build off of that area as well, too. So um, we're, um, you know, we're looking forward, uh, feel a little bit better about ourselves. And, and uh, we're starting to gain a lot of confidence. We've got some young guys that are playing well. Javante Hawkins is really stepping up as a freshman. And, uh, I thought Anthony Collins in the second half was really big, and Juwan's in Poland, uh, not only on the offense, but just laying out there on the floor in that last play was a huge effort play that helped our basketball team. Did you question the identity of the team, and do you have more of an idea after the other game as to what point you are now? Well, I don't know if we've ever been able to gain that total identity just because of the health. It, it changes, right. and uh, I do think that we're having a better grasp that you know, when we have what we have, um, you know, we have to make hustle plays. Uh, we have to play with, with great intensity and, and energy out there on the court and enthusiasm. Um, and we've got a, I thought in the second half, we, we figured out a lineup that maybe can generate a little bit more offense by putting Poland in uh, with, with Hawkins and, and Rudd and, and Fitzpatrick as well as Collins. And, and I do think Collins has to score the ball for us. And, and I thought, you know, them giving him that open shot and taking it and making it was a big deal. Is he just a little averse to shooting because he likes to just, I mean, do you have to just remind him? Or, or? I, I think he's got a true point guard mentality. Uh, you know, get everybody else involved, get everybody else going. Uh, if they're doing fine, no big deal, we'll keep riding that out. And then I think he understands that if, if things aren't working that way, then well, I better step my game up. And, and I think most true point guards think that way. Yeah. These last three games, we see your confidence in Hawkins picking up a lot. Where have you seen the biggest progress for him in, in these last three? Well, I think he's letting the game come to him, and, and he's, uh, it's, he's, he's, he's handling the, the balancing act very well. He's being aggressive, but he's not playing out of control. And um, I, I do think that uh, you know, he has the ability to get his own shot. And, uh, he's got athleticism and, and, and things that he can do that, uh, that, that are natural for him that, that aren't normal. And... Uh, you know, he's it's his teammates just as much, I think, are gaining a lot of confidence, and that's fueling his fire. You guys get a lot of highlight plays with the dunks and the, and the alley-oop and the lobs. I mean, that baseline play that he made was it's one of those where the only yeah, part of him that's yeah. inbounds is the ball almost. That was a spectacular play. I, I saw him twist and turn with a little spin on the ball, and I didn't know how that ball went in, but it was a big shot. For you guys, just to get some momentum, obviously you had the negative momentum working against you with those first four, but, I mean, if you guys can get a road win here, uh, you guys saw last year what you can do when you start pairing and, and piling Biggie's wins together. Just what that can do heading into a big stretch here in the well, middle of the. You know, anytime you can get momentum and you want to go on a roll, it's, it's big. And a few years back when uh, came from the year with Dominique and Chris, we started off on four in that year too. Right. And uh, those guys won four straight games, won four and four. And, you know, we had a solid uh, Biggie season as well that year. So it's doable. And, and other teams have done it as well too. So, um, you know, we're, we don't necessarily like being one and four, but. Uh, we do know that, um, you know, two of those teams we played are two of the top teams in the country, too. So this, the schedule is a little bit more uh, in, in a situation where you can find some wins if you really come to play. Stan, you got Corey back the other night. Just, just talk about what the timetable is like in terms of when you might have Musa or, or Sean back at all for you. Well, it was good to get Corey back, and, and uh, I thought his practice right before I saw the explosiveness and the movement that, that we needed to see him. Um, so I, I really felt like we needed to get him in here. And it helps us. It allows us to put Toil and Fitzpatrick, Victor Rudd, more in their normal positions if, as a four and a three. Uh, Sean's time frame is, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I don't know if Sean's going to return. Uh, he's still not ready to go. And we've used so much time that I don't know if by the time he got ready to go if it would help him. So we're going to look at different situ scenarios for him and talk about different things. Uh, Musa may be the same thing. I, you know, he's... He's going to take some time. He's got a back injury, and he's going to take some time to see if he, if he gets to the point where he can play on it. But uh, there's no time to on either player right now. 
for for Shauna, he, he played eight games. He's not eligible for a redshirt, is he? He's, he would be eligible for a medical hardship. He, he would be. Yes. Okay. 